Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Ben and Holly's Steam Park Adventures. Where are we, Holly? Fort Park, and we're staying in a hotel. We're staying in the shark cabins, aren't we? We stayed there last night, and we thought we'd do a little video and show you all around. So this is cool, isn't it? So we're in just the gate area of Fort Park, and there's nobody here, look. Look at this. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We've had a lovely night's sleep, haven't we? And it feels very refreshing. And yeah, we're in the island like no other. And we're on our own. It feels empty. <laughs> well, I want to go to football. <laughs> yeah, it's always a mad rush in here, isn't it? So uh, yeah, come with us, guys. We're going to show you all around the shark cabins. And look how cool this is. But like, walking across the bridge, there's nobody here. It's just come. It feels so strange, doesn't it? It's very bizarre. But yeah, there's the island over there. There's a saw car right on the top, look, it's just about to drop off. Look at that. There you go. Why are you testing Testing at 8 o'clock in the morning. It was going over the top very slow, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was slow. It's like a real slow go over the top, that one. Yeah. So yeah, come with us guys. So this is where the shark cabins are. And you're just, just at the end of the bridge. And the shark is cool, isn't it? So we'll show everyone inside the actual shark. So yeah, let's go. So here's the little reception area where you check in. So you come straight after your day in the park and you come down here. And you go in there and the staff are really friendly and nice. So yeah, you go in there and you get your key card, don't you? There's a nice bit of theme in here, look, see? Oh yeah, you get fast track, so you get, you get given it. Show your wristband. So you get given a little wristband and then that works as fast track for the next day as well, doesn't it? Yeah. For two hours, you get two hours from 10 till 12, she said. So yeah. Oh, here's Nathaniel, look, he's just got out of bed. And yeah, so this is the shark. Have a look at him. And the cool thing about this shark is he's made up of all recycled bits from the park. So what can we see in here, look? Um, what can you spot? All the points. All old ride signs, look. Canada Creek. Railway. Yeah, so there's the old Canada Creek Railway sign. Amity Seafood sign up there. Open for grilling and chillies. <laughs> main, main shop. Main there's an old order point there, look. I think that's from the um, stealth photo booth. Coca Cola sign. And then there's some track here, look. So that, Fast track entrance. Logger's Leap. There's the Logger's Leap. Information sign. Fort Park sign over there. There's the Zodiac sign. And this is meant to be like B&M track. So like the Inferno track. And at night, this looks really cool. Um, I will put um, some footage in of it at night as well because it's all lit up and it does look really, really cool. Oh, is there more signs out the side? Yeah, so there's some old boarding from the swarm. Yeah, it's really cool. That there's a fin at the top. Me and Nathaniel were playing with mammoth outside and when we had done, we saw a big swan, didn't we? Oh yeah, so let's show the people the outside bit where you were playing. And yeah, so at the end of the walkway, it's just, it's just like a little seating area really, isn't it? An outdoor seating area. There's nothing really to play with. There's no park or anything, you is there? You can do stuff. Huh? Well, yeah, you were doing stuff, weren't you? But, yeah playing dob and stuff but it's just all picnic tables and things um, I, don't, I wonder if they have that open in the summer when they've probably got lots of guests staying maybe yeah. Yeah, so we're up on the top deck aren't we Look, here's the so as you can see they're all just like shipping containers it's not a hotel um, <laughs> I think it's quite clear from the wording it's the shark cabins they did actually used to call it a hotel but it's definitely not a hotel oh <laughs> No, I don't think it's a slide. <laughs> you can't go down that. I think it's where they took like bedding and stuff, I would imagine, when they're cleaning the rooms. So yeah, let's go to our room, guys. Nice views of the park over there behind the trees. See Inferno back there. Detonator. And this is us, number two, three, eight. Let's go. Let's go into our cabin yeah so as you can see they are very small there's holly and that's the bathroom and there's the main bed the double bed um, so yeah they are tight and compact in here but 
we found it really cosy, haven't we? We found it cosy and just what you need when you're staying at a theme park hotel, to be honest. Bath? Let's start with the bathroom then. So, you've got a li little tiny bathroom. There's your toilet. You a few towels up there. And, and the whole shower. thing is a shower. So, it's, it's a wet room, isn't it? I'm not yeah. used to shower yet. I'm going to have a shower in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but it looks like a good one, quite powerful. But yeah, that's the whole... Basically, it's just like a wet room. So, you shut the door and the whole room turns into the shower room. And then you've got two bunk beds here. How comfy was your bed, Holly? Well, yes, very comfy, but I just didn't like a quilt falling off. Holly said a quilt kept falling off all night. I think it's because you've got a solid wall that side and nothing holding it in. So, yeah, she said a quilt kept falling off. Because, because Nathaniel I'm was on the top bunk. How did you find it, dude? I kept on banging my head. I yeah, up and I my as you can see, it is quite compact, isn't it? You've got a little light switch up there for your lights. I know and then that. Mr. Um, John says hello, he's wearing his scare badge and his love to explore badge. Yes, John, yeah. <laughs> and John, I know that in every hotel it's always folded, so I'll fold it. Oh, because it's always tucked underneath, yeah. I mean, perhaps if you it. didn't do that, you <laughs> wouldn't have kept falling off. So, yeah, you get your basic. Uh, tea and coffee making facilities here. And no and biscuits though. We didn't get any biscuits. And when you've done your water, you can ask Yeah, so you get a bottle of water because you can't drink the tap water here, can you? So you get a bottle of water and you can have um, another bottle from the reception if you need one. So I went and got one this morning. So that, there you get some like coffee, tea, hot chocolates. You, you don't get McDonald's nuggets. That was Nathaniel's last night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are cool, so you've got a little sign here, so it says, out of here, we're probably 200 foot in the air on stealth, so feel free to come in. Not so me. you put that like that on your window. But actually at the bottom, it's, I think this is for Holly, it says, we may have chickened out, and we're actually riding the teacups all day. <laughs> and then on the other side, it says, counting sharks, we're chilling from a hard day of coaster riding. If you dare to knock, we may feed you to the shark. No jokes. <laughs> That's quite a cool little little uh, do not disturb sign rather than just having your normal standard one yeah um it does say here whoa careful as you open the door people may be passing by because it does swing open and yeah you could take people out so yeah that yeah. is a bit dangerous but at least they warn you about it so yeah this is awesome do you want to show people the mood lighting holly oh, yeah. so this picture's cool and then you get this mood lighting up here which is nice a nice led strip light and then, uh, yeah, but it's, I, I like it to be honest. You get little cubby holes at the bottom down yeah, here to yeah, put your to suitcases me. under, some of our suitcases under there. And I mean, you wouldn't want to stay in here for long, but the thing is when you come to, when you come to theme parks, you're in the park all day. And you just you, need a bed. You just need a bed. So yeah, for me, they're perfect. I mean, they, they could probably be a bit cheaper. Um, you know, like they are quite expensive for what they are, but you know, I think it's perfect. So yeah, you get all the little padding around the bed as well. It's quite nice and soft. You get a TV. I've not pointed out the TV yet. You've got your TV. Um, yeah, you've got air conditioning so you can keep keep the room at a nice temperature. Um, what was your night light like, Holly? You got your little night light under there, haven't you? I mean, that's all you needed. I didn't really want one, yeah. so I just wanted to fix. <laughs> yeah, overall, I think it's a nice little little thing isn't it um you don't need when you're staying in these theme park hotels you don't need anything special and fancy you pay a lot of money to stay in like Alton towers hotel and yeah um which was nice i'm not gonna lie it's great it's fantastic to stay in those rooms isn't it as an experience but you don't spend a great deal of time in there do you so and it's good that you just got a little bit story yeah there. so you do have like a little wardrobe under there and a bin uh, it's not That's it's not a big you can't really hang much in there little drawers if you want to put stuff in um you don't get any hair dryers or ironing boards or anything like that so bear that in mind if you need a hair dryer when you come um because you don't you don't get those yeah it is what it is and i i personally like it and i definitely would stay again so yeah I, i've heard a lot of bad reviews about these cabins and people slating them a bit but for me i think it's it's perfect for what it is for staying in a theme park we are going to go down to breakfast in a minute, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, so you have you have breakfast in the dome, so that's going to be cool. So we'll give you a little review of the breakfast and tell you what that's like. 
Come with us, guys. Let's go. This is cool, isn't it? An empty dome. Literally, probably two people about, members of staff. Completely empty dome. Probably in the old X cars. He chose the carnival one. <laughs> Come on then, let's go for breakfast. Let's go. So this is our table. This is cool, isn't it? Right next to Vortex, it's got a view of the park. And then most importantly, there's all the breakfast. So it's buffet, you can help yourself, Holly. You're gonna go and get some. What are you getting, Holly? Are you having some beans? Yes, I have yeah. some when I have been a subscriber. There's a selection for that. There's a drinks area as well. You can get a range of teas there, juices, and you've got your hot drinks, all different ranges of coffee and tea. That's what we like to see, a nice full English breakfast they do before you start your day at a park again. That's what you need. No pancakes. You're not very happy about that, are you? How's yours, Holly? You've got yourself a piece of anemic toast, don't you? Holly's had Nutella on toast and she's finishing the Nutella with a spoon and she's got a chocolate moustache. How's your Nutella? Nice! <laughs> so that's our stay at the Thought Park Shark Cabin's done Holly. How was it for you? Good. Good. No, amazing. <laughs> Good. No, amazing. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I think for, the, for what they are, these cabins are perfect for a theme park stay, definitely. You know, um, you come to a park all day, you have a long day, and you just need somewhere to get your head down at night. You don't need a big fancy room. Um, so yeah, for me, they're, they're perfect. I think they could be a bit cheaper, but they are what they are. Um, but yeah, we have a long way to come as well. So we have like nearly three hours to drive down to Thorpe Park. So it's nice not having to drive home after a long, long day at the park. Um, I've just had a shower as well. The shower is really powerful and lovely, and lovely and warm and nice. So, yeah, the breakfast was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we had a lovely big English breakfast. Um, you get as much as you want, which is nice. Not like Legoland where you just get a tiny one sausage, one bacon. A children. <laughs> you get a children's breakfast for an adult. So yeah, yeah. Overall, I definitely recommend a stay there. Would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah. Beds are comfy. Have a nice night's nice sleep. And uh, yeah, nice breakfast. Yeah. Apart from your quilt keeps falling off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you've just been to get me some more coffee, haven't you, from the reception? What did they give you? Lolly. Yeah, they gave you a free lollipop as well, which was nice. So, or in fact, they gave you multiple lollipops, didn't they? You got about two or three. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I definitely recommend to stay at the Shark Cabins at Thorpe Park. So yeah, get yourself down here if you can. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.